So in the last week, I've been working on the prologue scene of my game. In this scene, it's a guy driving his car to his old family home. The first thing that I wanted to do is animate his arms so that it looks like he's actually driving. This was quite a pain because I had to go and find an animation. I use Maximo just because it's free and they've got thousands of animations. But the thing is you have to remap those animations to the Unreal Engine mannequin. How I did that was I imported the animation into Blender. I used the tool to transform the animations from Maximo to Unreal Engine within Blender thanks to a free plugin that I found and I've linked in the description. Once I completed that, I imported the skeleton into Unreal Engine with the animation sequence. I was lazy, so I just chucked the animation sequence into my car blueprint and just looped it so it looked like he was driving. I didn't create the animation blueprint or anything like that for now. I also tried animating the steering wheel because the origins were off. It caused some issues, so I just left it as. So now it was down to creating the environment. First thing I did was I used Ultra Dynamic Sky. It is a paid for plugin in the Unreal Engine marketplace, but it gives you so much control over the sky. It is incredible. I also used another application called Gaia for world building. Gaia has a free and paid for option. I'm not entirely sure what you get with the free one. I did buy it and I'm able to export 4K textures. The fantastic thing about Gaia is it's node based and it's non-destructive, which means you can just keep on adding stuff and shaping this world without destroying any of your previous work. You can create mountains, you can create lakes, rivers, islands, whatever your heart desires. And you can export those textures, the height map, and even the meshes into whatever platform you use. I just exported the height map. I used the height map within the Unreal Engine terrain tool to generate the landscape as it was in Gaia. You can also, of course, sculpt this world within Unreal Engine itself. I've just found that this workflow is far more realistic and quicker. And as for the textures, I didn't import it from Gaia. I actually found an auto landscape material that's free created by Unreal Sensei. Don't mind if I do. And what I've done is I've just modified the textures, the auto landscape material to match my scene. So if you didn't know, as of version 5.1 of Unreal Engine, Nanite is supported within foliage. What this means is that you can have thousands of trees and bushes and whatever your heart desires without any performance impact. This means you can create incredibly realistic, believable environment, even with foliage moving and reacting to the wind. I just used the foliage tool to paint bushes and trees all over the place. Now I had this environment looking pretty great, but I wanted it to look even greater. So I added the stock standard Unreal Ocean, just thought it looks you're driving between the mountains and the sea on your way to your house. What I did was I created an additional layer on the terrain. To do that, you have to enable edit layers when creating your terrain. Once I've created my extra layer on the terrain, I started drawing spline. To that spline, I assigned a rectangular cube and I assigned a Quixel road material to that mesh. Once that was done, I had a pretty convincing looking road. Surprisingly, everything that I just did was the easy part. What turned out to be the really, really hard part was animating the car along the road. What made this extremely difficult is I wanted to animate this car along a spline, specifically the road spline that I've created, but I couldn't get it working. So I had to create a separate spline for that car itself in the blueprint. Now, what I had to do is I had to match the two splines lines up it was a pain and also it just didn't look real when the car was driving i think i'm about 80 percent there in terms of what it looks like so i just wanted to play around with the dialogue because i kind of got frustrated i used something called murph ai to just get a feel of what the dialogue is going to sound like by generating speech from text that i give it hello people of youtube i'm a robot Thank you so much for watching. It's been fun, albeit very, very frustrating at times to get this up and running. But, you know, it's all part of the journey. As always, have a great day. Until next time.